So just a quick video in the development series of cloudlingo.com. Uh, I'm looking at a, a lyric line here which says, Yo sé que estás ahí. I know that you are there. Now, it intrigued me to know um, that the verb sé, which I've only ever come across in this form, yo sé, so the first person uh, present indicative sense, um, meaning I know. But if I look up here in the verb uh, search, I can see that here's my first person singular indicative present sense tense ver, uh, sense of saber to know meaning I know but there is also a second person singular imperative affirmative in the tutero um, Spanish mainland type and I was it because this is they're, they're, it's this, written the same so we need to be able to dis disambiguate them now, clearly, when you're going through the song lyrics, you'll be able to work out yo se. So it's clearly yo and then se. So you know that it's the first person present tense version. But then I wanted to know if I could find a version in the imperative form. So... I went to my parallel text and I typed in tu, accent, se, accent, and it came up with some examples here. So, because this, this se is actually a conjugation of the verb ser, to be, it's used when we would say you be nobody. So, tu, se, you be invisible, and so on. So... If I just take this sentence here, so if I go to the Stanford, which is the way that um, I'm Cloud Lingo is currently doing the NPL, you can see it's VMIP000, which is the present indicative. So if I was to put in here, tu se, which is now the second person affirmative imperative then you would expect to see a different code but it doesn't it can't distinguish between the two so I thought I'd check that with uh, with Google their version of natural language and you'll see that here is the yo sé que estás ahí and it's correctly saying it's the saber verb conjugation in the first person singular but now if I put in this other example, it's got it wrong. So, tu se should be second person. It has to be second person because it's the tu form. So, these natural language systems still have some way to go. And I'm assuming that it's because the... The learning set that, that Google are using and Stanford have used doesn't contain any existences of this because if it did, it would have known that the two form is the um, is the command version. So, so what we'll have to do in in the studio is because human wise we can see clearly that it's you say it has to be the present tense indicative form then uh, there needs to be a radio button here where we manually select but that is going to be something that people are going to have to do going forward